One of Britain's most influential MPs says triggering Article 50 should be delayed for another year. Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May should delay triggering Article 50 until autumn 2017 if the nation has not secured a good deal of clarity from its negotiating partners that they are in a position to agree reasonable terms, one of the UK's most powerful politicians said. Andrew Tyree said in a paper written for the think tank Open Europe that Britain's government should continue to restrain itself from pressing the trigger on Article 50 until EU officials have given evidence that they are ready to talk about a viable exit plan. Tyree is one of Britain's most powerful politicians as an MP for Chichester, chairman of the House of Commons Treasury Select Committee and former chairman of the Parliamentary Commission on Banking Standards. When a nation triggers Article 50, it gives that country two years to negotiate its exit from the 28-nation bloc. On June 23, Britain voted to leave the EU. May has repeatedly said Brexit means Brexit since becoming PM even though she was on the side of remaining in the EU during the campaign process. However, May has so far delayed triggering Article 50 and critics such as Barclays analysts say this will make a UK recession worse. Meanwhile, EU officials have also said that negotiations will not begin until Article 50 is triggered. On Wednesday May met with cabinet leaders and said that MPs would not be able to vote on when to trigger Article 50. Tyree added in the paper that the government does not need to trigger Article 50 prematurely to prove its intent and that it may be wise to delay this moment until after the French and German elections next year. A settled relationship with the EU will not be found within the two years specified under Article 50. If such transitional arrangements may well be required to prevent a sudden reversion to WTO rules, he said.